Hey, and welcome to Witchcrafty. Today I'm going to be covering how to sew the water type evolution Vaporeon. This is my personal favourite evolution, aside from Espeon, which will be the next one in line. Here's the list of everything you need. If you want, you can switch up the cards to make a shiny variant. Pause here if you need to. The pattern is available for free for my DeviantArt and also my Pinterest. It's the second link in the description. All of my patterns scale to an A4 piece of paper, so make sure you set it to that when printing it. The first thing you need to do is take one body side and one front leg piece and place them so the tracing shows on both sides and sew the legs so the top curved edge is still open. Repeat the same for the remaining body side and the remaining front leg. Take the back leg pieces and join them on the same way that you join the front legs. After that, take the middle body piece and begin joining it onto one side of the body. It should start where the neck ends by the side with a straight edge. When you reach each curve, it should indicate where the remaining open edge of the leg hole should go. Sew each leg hole to the curve so it still opens in the centre. After each leg is joined, sew the remaining middle body only to the point near the end of the tail. Repeat the same process for the second body side and the last side of the middle body. Take both back spike pieces and place them together with the tracing showing and sew them together around the spikes leaving the bottom straight edge open.
Once done, flip it upright. Place, clip or pin the spikes between the back of the last edge of the body sides and sew it so it joins just along the seam, stopping before the neck hole. Once joined, flip the body upright and stuff it in this order, tail, legs, body so it's easier to reach. After that, place both main pieces together so that the tracing aligns and places up on both sides and begin joining them together. When you've almost reached the end, flip it upright, then close off the remaining open edge with an invisible stitch. Place this over the neck hole and use an invisible stitch to join it to the body. Take the two back head pieces and place them together wrong side up and sew them together along the most curved side only. Once done, take one of the front face pieces and align it to one side of the back head piece and begin joining it from where the neck hole starts and stop at the top of the tip of the back head piece. Repeat the same for the second side of the head with the second head front piece. Press both front face pieces together and join them along the remaining front face line, stopping when you reach the neck hole. After that, flip it upright and stuff it.
To prep for the face, take each eye glint and sew them to the top centre of each eye with matching white thread. Pin both eyes, the nose, the top head detail so it aligns with the back head and use a back stitch and matching thread to join all of these pieces onto the face. For the ears, take each fin top and join each one to the top line of each fin. After that, using blue thread, place two pieces together with a tracing showing and sew them only around the top fin pieces leaving the straight side open. Switch to yellow thread and sew around the ear piece leaving the straight edge open again. Then use an open edge to flip it upright. Repeat the same process for the second ear. Take the top fin pieces and sew the top fin piece along the longest side only for each side.
Then place both pieces together wrong side up and sew them around the blue side using matching thread to blend and leaving the straight edges open. Switch the yellow thread and finish the stitch around the fin. Once done, flip it upright. Tuck in the excess seam allowance and pin the ears and the top fin to the head and use an invisible stitch to join them on. Once done, pin the head so the mane can be seen evenly around it and sew it on with an invisible stitch so your thread reaches the body below it in some places to balance the head and secure it on so it sits properly on the body. And that is how you make a Vaporeon plushie. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and comment down below on ideas you'd like to see me make next. And while you're at it, why don't you go check out my videos, I upload new videos every single week. Thanks for watching, bye!